Hello friends. This is last part of how to authenticate login with OTP number in PHP and MySQL database. In this part, we will verify OTP number, which we have sent to register user email address via email, after entering correct password details. Once user has entered correct OTP number, then he or she can log in into system. For this first, we have go to login.php file, and here we have write else block, so suppose above two condition falls, then it will execute this else block of code. Under this block, we have write, if statement, and under condition, we have write data dot error variable value is not equal to blank. If this condition true, that means, there is any error occur, so for display validation error, here we have write, dollar with span tag id user otp error, with text method, and under this, we have write data dot error, so it will display error under this tag. But suppose, above condition false, that means user has entered correct OTP number, then it will execute else block of code, and here we have write window.location.replace method, and under this, we have write home.php, so it will redirect web page to home.php web page. Now, we have go to login verify.php file, and here, we have write, if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar post action variable is equal to OTP, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write, if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar post user OTP variable value is not equal to blank. So, if above condition falls, then it will execute else block of code, and under this, we have write, dollar error variable is equal to, text message like OTP number is required. And below it, we have write, dollar next action variable is equal to OTP. But suppose user OTP variable has some value, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar session login OTP variable value is equal to dollar post user OTP variable value. Suppose this condition falls. That means user has entered wrong OTP number, and it will execute else block of code. And here, we have write dollar error variable is equal to text message like wrong OTP number, and dollar next action variable value is equal to OTP. But user has entered correct OTP number and it is match with dollar session login OTP variable value, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar session user ID variable value is equal to dollar session register user ID variable value. So here we have create one more new session variable for store user ID details. Below this, we have write unset function, and under this, 
we have write dollar session register user id variable this function will remove this variable after this we want to remove dollar session user email variable for this here we have write unset function and under this we have write dollar session user email variable same way we want to remove dollar session user password variable for this here we have write unset function and under this function we have write dollar session user password variable and lastly we want to remove dollar session login otp variable so here we have write unset function and under this we have write dollar session login otp variable so this way we have removed some session variable which not required so here our code is ready for verify user enter otp number which has been received login user at their email address now we have go to home.php file and in this file first we have write session start function this function will start session variable on this page after this we have write if statement and under condition we have write not operator with is set function and under this we have write dollar session user id variable this condition will check if this variable not exists then it will execute if block of code and here we have write header function with location set to login.php so suppose user is not login into system and try to access this home page then it will redirect to login.php file after this under this page we have write welcome with php echo statement with dollar session user name variable it will display login user name on web page below this we want to make logout link so here we have write anchor tag with ref is equal to logout.php and in anchor text we have write logout so by click on this link user will redirect to logout.php file and they will be logout from system next we have go to logout.php file and here we have write session start function this function will start session variable under this page below this we have write session destroy a function this function will remove all session variable and lastly we have write header function and under this we have write location with login.php it will redirect web page to login.php web page so here our code is ready now we have check output in browser friends first we have refresh web page and after loading of web page here we can see login page and under this first it has asked for enter email address details so here we have enter register user email address and click on next button after click on next button then it asks for enter password details so here we have enter correct password details and click on next button
After click on next button, then it has asked for enter OTP number. So OTP number will be received at user register email address. So we have go to email address inbox and here we can see email has been received with OTP number. So we have copy this number and go to web page and here first we have directly click on next button then it has display validation error like OTP number is required so here first we have enter incorrect OTP number and click on next button so after click on next button it has display validation error like wrong OTP number now, we have enter correct OTP number, and click on next button, after click on next button, here we have login into system. And on web page, we can see welcome message, and below it, we can see logout link. So suppose user want to log out from system, so they can log out from system by click on this link now we want to log out from system so we have click on this log out link so after click on this log out link user has been log out from system and redirect to login page so in this part we have discuss how to validate correct OTP number under this PHP login system with OTP authentication and this last part of this tutorial series. If you have any query or input regarding this part, please comment your query or input in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also.